guillotine here. Today I'm making a video of how to set up a toad enclosure if you like a house. Um, doing this, I'm making a video that you will not spend, you will not need to spend any money at all, completely free. Um, the, the thing that I'm starting out with, a good thing to use is like, have you ever had a cheese ball container, don't know what to do with it? You can do this. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video afterwards of cap, uh, good places to catch a toad. Um, like any reptile actually. Um, I've had a lot of reptiles, but most of the time I don't like to spend money unless like this is temporary until you get a better enclosure, obviously. Um, start off you have a cheese ball bucket. Just pop a couple holes in the top and there you go. Um, this is just going to be a separate series, just doing stuff like this because I don't really know what to do and this is just something that I've always liked to do, study reptiles and stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, you're going to start off with, like, we're only going to need a couple things. Maybe a rock or two, some dirt, and some sticks, some leaves and stuff, just for it to hide in. Um, I'll cover another video of what they like to eat. Remember, before you ever capture anything, set up its enclosure and do all the research on it that you can. I'm going to be answering questions that are common most of the time whenever it comes to reptile pets. Okay, so as you can see here, Tony, my cameraman, uh, again... Um, you take some dirt. We already have a good mound of dirt that we found. It probably has termites in it. If you can get termites inside of a mound, that is really good because you won't have to catch food for a while. Um, one-handed. One-handed. So if I don't do very good, guys, leave me alone. I'm doing it one-handed. So you want to break it up because if you don't know, if you don't know, um, this was, this was one thing that worried me whenever I first got my toad. Um, they like to dig. And I didn't know where he went, but he was sleeping. They like to dig underground. So make sure you get very soft, very powdery dirt. So that way it's easy for them to dig. As you can see, I got a big rock. Well, a medium-sized rock. You don't want it to be too big. Now you just put them in there so that way if it ever feels like, you know, basking a little bit or something like that. Like I said, you want to make sure it's very, don't ever pack it down. You want to make sure it's very accessible for him to dig in. Because that's how they stay warm. Um, sorry, I had to merge the video. The video got too long. Um, so like I said, you don't want to pack the dirt down. Um, you got a couple rocks, got a couple sticks. Um, now all you need, yeah, there's, like I said, it's not like nothing fancy. It's nothing fancy at all. Um, but... It doesn't need to be. If you're looking for something free, just to have a pet, a pet for a kid, a pet for a friend, anything like that. Your friend likes stuff like this. And it's very easy to do. I've done this multiple times, like I said. Boil the sticks so it doesn't catch anything. You want to be very, you know, precise with stuff like that so it'll live long. I had a toad, a redback toad from Arizona, for two years. And it, that was just from catching crickets in my backyard. Um, okay, so oh. now the next thing is, like, these plants right here. These plants... I've noticed that um, Texas toads, especially like albino toads, they love these kind of plants just to hide in. They love it. So you can transplant these into that. And guys, we had to merge it. It's my phone. I'm probably going to have to get some more storage, probably something like that. Okay. So like I said, these plants are good. Now I'm going to edit. Three. Okay. Uh, we're back, guys. Sorry. I was. I thought it wasn't interesting enough to dig up a plant and put it inside of the enclosure. Um, as you can see, this, this is basically it. It's um, Like I said, though, nighttime, your toad, whenever it gets cold, um, it will, in fact, oh, yeah, I know earlier I said a toad was a reptile. I know it's not. Calm down. Um, <laughs> but it will start to dig. First time I got a toad, the Arizona toad, it jumped out of the sand, and it freaked me out. I was like, whoa, I thought you were gone. I thought you escaped. It didn't escape. I promise, it's most likely digging. Most toads do that. Um, they're eating patterns. You will most likely never see them eat, so if you don't see them eat, don't stress it. They're eating the food in their habitat is most likely either, you know, going into the soil or it's, you know, they're eating. They're not going to starve. Um, another thing, you can catch what? What are they eating? Um, they can catch, they'll eat crickets you can as long as it can fit in its mouth it will eat don't go in there and try to get a keeny which is like a ginormous grasshopper that big it's not going to eat one of those unless it's a toad about that big or a bullfrog it's not going to 
So if, if you're going to get a small toad, get little crickets. Um, they, they will eat grasshoppers, but their shell is a little bit too tough for them. So um, digesting it is very hard for them. So if you're going to feed them grasshoppers, make sure they have good sunlight to digest it properly. Um, yeah, those are most of the questions that I've gotten from uh, friends and stuff raising uh, a reptile or amphibian. So that's basically it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. And um, subscribe. I'm selling out. I know. Leave me alone. And that makes me want to do it. Ha, ha, ha.